I have this huge box of colored veneers, so I think I'm going to make some single fins with it. And for these ones, I'm going to do fiberglass tabs. So I'll lay up a fiberglass panel that I can cut the tabs out of, and then I can glue the colored veneer together and make a piece of plywood that I can then glue to the tabs and then foil. So the first thing I'm going to do is glue up this pink and black veneer into a piece of plywood. To spread out the wood glue, I decided to use this plastic spreader and this worked okay, but the problem I had was I couldn't get the glue spread really thin. So I think a roller would work much better and it's something I'm gonna look for in the future because there was just way too much glue on this panel and it took a long time to dry. With the veneers all clamped together, I moved it off to the side so I could start glassing my fin tabs. For the fin tabs, I'm going to mix up a small batch of black resin and I pre-cut 36 layers of 6 ounce and I'm going to lay up 3 layers at a time. So with my small batch of resin, I'll lay up as many layers as I can, and then I'll make another small batch of resin, and so on until I have the full panel glassed together. One way to improve your resin panels is to use a resin roller, and these come in slotted and ringed, and what these do is they'll help push out any bubbles from your laminate. They're very often used by boat builders, and from the ones I've talked to, they tend to prefer the ringed because it'll pick up and throw less resin than the slotted. But this is definitely something you should use if you're gonna lay up fiberglass panels. With all the layers laid up, I'm gonna let it gel and then give it a really quick thin hot coat. While I waited for my fin panels to cure, I decided to lay up another veneer panel and I found a glue roller and this worked so much better than the plastic spreader so this is what I'm going to use going forward in the future. Now that everything's cured, I'm going to start drawing out my bases on the fiberglass and the blades of the fin with the veneers. And what I did was I just took my fin template and drew a wavy line a little bit up from the tab and then cut it and I cut another piece with the tab as well as that wavy line just so that it would fit nice and snug together and I can draw each piece on each thing to hopefully waste a little bit less material. And I drew this wavy line a little bit up from the base of the fin tab just so that the fin has a little bit more strength uh, just above the tab a little bit and it'll hopefully allow some of the flex to be carried down instead of just having a pivot point right at the base, which should hopefully make it a little stronger. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw these out and then I'll start cutting them out. When I was drawing out my fin blades and the tabs, I wanted to make sure I used as much of the panels as possible, so I carefully marked them out and I made sure I kept as much as the veneer grain going vertically as I could so that I could increase the strength of the fins. Cutting out the fins on the bandsaw, I wanted to cut as close as I could to the line without going over. And this will make it easier to take them over to the router just to clean up the edges so that they are exact.
To cut out the fin tabs, I switched over to a metal bandsaw blade, and I find this works a lot better for cutting out fiberglass. The metal blades tend to last a little longer, I find. Uh, the downside to this one, it's a little wider, so it's harder to get the tight radiuses. I now have all the parts to my fins cut out and I just routered them just to clean them up a little bit and everything's fitting together pretty good. So now I'm gonna epoxy the pieces together and I'm gonna use a little bit of tape just to hold them all the resin cures. I also need to add a little bit of tape to the fin tabs, roughly three layers, just to bring them up so that they are centered with the wood. So I'm gonna mix up some resin and glue these together. To epoxy the two parts together, you don't need much resin, and I mixed up about an ounce, and that's because I had these five fins as well as some other little repairs to do on my board, so I just mixed up a little bit extra at the same time. Once all the tabs cured, it was time to move on to foiling the fins. To foil the fins, I'm going to use some 40 grit to rough out my shape, and then I'll go back over it with some 80 grit to clean up my foil. And then finally I'll sand through the grits and get the fins nice and smooth. These fins are starting to look really good, so one of the last things I need to do is glass it. And I just roughed the fin up with a little bit of 80 grit after I sanded it with 220. And that's just to ensure that the fiberglass bonds well with the fin. And on these, I'm going to go with two layers of 6 ounce on each side, and then a third patch just along the base just to help reinforce the joint between the wood and fiberglass. So I'm going to mix up some resin and jump into glassing these. To glass the fins, I'm going to start with wetting out the fin with some epoxy and I'll also add my rice paper logo at the same time and this will ensure that the rice paper goes translucent and you can't see the edges too much. I'll then add my fiberglass over top and continue glassing the fins.
With my fins wet out, I'm gonna put them in my vacuum bag. And this isn't a proper vacuum bagging setup. This is just a kind of quick vacuum bagging technique that I've been playing around with. And it's worked okay, but there's still some improvements that I need to make to it. After I vacuum bagged the fins, I gave them a hot coat and now I'm going to sand them to a glossy finish. I'll then need to sand the fin tabs to the final thickness and you may have noticed this masking tape and this is so that I can sand through the layers of fiberglass to get to the masking tape and then I can peel it up and I'm back to the original fin panel's thickness. And this will ensure that I can sand each side of the tab to get it to the exact thickness. After that, I'll drill my holes in the fin. After I finished drilling the holes in the fins, I attached my fin pins. And these are really cool. I like the look of the colored veneers. It's also really cool that they're off cuts from making skateboards, so it's kind of an upcycling project, which is always cool. The other thing with these, where I'm doing batches of fins lately, I'm finding I'm finding little ways to improve just the process of making them. Uh, so it's really cool to do small batches of fins. And there's a couple things, like there's still a few little bubbles in the lamination, but there's a lot less than there used to be. With that all being said, here's some final shots of these fins. <laughs> 